set yourselves up for an immense catastrophe of astounding extents. Jew, the red B star adjusted on the edge of our grandiose framework, is conveying inauspicious messages through the universe. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, cosmologists have uncovered something fundamentally problematic about this epic divine body. As famous astrophysicist Brian Cox gives a grave admonition, the question looms. Are we near the precarious edge of seeing a terrible, grandiose blast that could forever change the night sky as far as we might be concerned? Let us dive into this. In the stupendous embroidered artwork of the universe, where stars are conceived, live, and die in dynamite style, one star has as of late caught the imagination and worry of cosmologists and the public alike. This star is Jew, a red supergiant of enormous extents and age, noticeably arranged in the Orion group of stars. Its particular ruddy color and variable splendor have long been a wellspring of interest. However, ongoing advancements have heightened the intrigue surrounding this divine giant. As we investigate the nature of Jew, we find ourselves on the cusp of a potentially great event in the existence pattern of the star. Yet, what might these changes in Jew mean? Are we seeing the introduction to a grandiose exhibition of unbelievable scale? Jew, roughly multiple times bigger than our sun, is a heavenly behemoth. Its huge size is nearly beyond human understanding. Envision a star so tremendous that, were it to supplant our sun, its surface would extend past the orbit of Mars, immersing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in its divine hug. This unprecedented size isn't just a demonstration of Jew's physical qualities, but also marks its stage in the heavenly life cycle. As a red supergiant, Jew is in the twilight of its existence, a stage characterized by expansion and cooling following a lifetime spent fusing hydrogen into helium at its core. What about the age of Jew? This star, believed to be approximately 8 to 8.5 million years old, is relatively young in human terms but ancient in the context of heavenly lifetimes. Its current red supergiant stage marks the end of eons of stellar evolution, a period defined by dramatic changes and processes that transformed it from a hot blue star to the red giant we see today. The life cycle of stars like Jew is a story of transformation, driven by the relentless forces of nuclear fusion and gravity. Jew's distinct rosy hue is another indicator of its current stage. The red color results from its relatively cooler surface temperature compared to other stars, like our sun. While the sun's surface temperature is around 5,500 Kelvin, Jew's cooler surface registers temperatures around 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature allows Jew to emit light at frequencies that give it a red appearance. This tone isn't merely a visual characteristic but a vital clue to the star's physical state and the processes occurring within its massive gaseous expanse. Adding to Jiu's intrigue is its historical color change. Ancient Roman and Chinese texts suggest that nearly 2,000 years ago, Jiu was yellow. It was only in the 9th century that Arabic cosmologists first described it as red. This color shift over human history isn't just a minor detail in the annals of astronomy, but a hint at the star's evolutionary path. The variable brightness of Jew is another fascinating aspect. As a semi-regular variable star, its light periodically waxes and wanes. This fluctuation is a characteristic dance of luminosity that has captivated astronomers and skywatchers for centuries. Typically, Jew undergoes a 400-day cycle alongside a longer cycle extending around five years. These cycles were documented as far back as 1836 by Sir John Herschel and possibly even earlier in indigenous oral traditions. However, what makes Jew truly confounding is its irregularity. Unlike many stars that follow predictable patterns, Jew occasionally deviates from its rhythmic dimming and brightening, hinting at complex and less understood processes occurring within its vast structure. A recent momentous discovery brought Jew into the spotlight. The star captured the attention of astronomers and stargazers worldwide with a startling and dramatic change in its appearance, an event now famously known as the Great Dimming. In late 2019, Jew, 
one of the brightest stars in the night sky and a prominent feature of the Orion constellation, began to fade mysteriously. The dimming was so pronounced that it lost its brilliance at an average rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day, reaching its lowest brightness in February 2020. Typically visible to the naked eye, even in light-polluted areas, Ju became significantly fainter, a change noticeable even to amateur observers. At first, more iridescent than the star's typical splendor, it at last prompted the development of a shadowy cloud. As it moved outward, comprehension spots where red supergiants, like Betelgeuse, shed mass at a respectably reliable speed previously. The risky finish of their lives suggests a more fierce and erratic last stage for these stars. Anyway, the size of this mass launch challenges this thought. It shows a more tumultuous finale, as the star could prepare for a tremendous supernova impact within the next few hundred years. Ongoing examinations estimate the timing of such an event, suggesting it could happen sooner than previously anticipated, conceivably within decades. The concept of bow shock is another critical piece of the Betelgeuse puzzle. As this enormous star falls through space at roughly 67,000 miles per hour relative to its surrounding interstellar medium, it creates a bow shock, much like the impact produced by the bow of a moving boat. This phenomenon occurs as the star's outer layers interact with interstellar gases and dust, providing a stunning display of the star's dynamic nature and its connection with the cosmic environment. Studying this bow shock not only illuminates Betelgeuse's present state, but also enhances our understanding of stellar evolution and mass loss processes. But what of the star's recent behavior? Betelgeuse's surface has been observed to cool and become less dense following a significant discharge event, leaving the star in an unstable state even years later. Hydrodynamic simulations suggest a connection between the star's convective activities, the mass discharge, and subsequent pulsation modes. This ongoing instability raises questions about the internal processes driving these changes and how they might culminate in the future. Moreover, the mass loss rate of Betelgeuse, as noted, is significantly higher than that of many other stars, highlighting a complex interplay of internal forces. The continuous pulsations, partly responsible for this mass loss, are tempered by steady energy dispersal through shock heating and mass ejection. Such observations highlight the dynamic and somewhat unpredictable nature of Betelgeuse's life cycle, prompting astronomers to rethink their models of stellar evolution. However, one might wonder, with all these dramatic changes, is Betelgeuse nearing the brink of a supernova? This question looms large in the cosmic community. While the timing of such an event remains uncertain, the recent phenomenal mass ejection has undoubtedly shifted the discussion, suggesting a more imminent end than previously thought. Current theories wrestle with the implications of such significant material loss and its effects on the star's stability and future. As the astronomical community eagerly monitors Betelgeuse, another cosmic event draws attention. The Supernova SN 2023 ISF. This spectacular explosion occurred in the galaxy Messier 101, colloquially known as the Pinwheel Galaxy, located a mere 21 million light years away. Discovered in May 2023, SN 2023 ISF isn't just another supernova. It's the closest one observed in recent years, providing a priceless close-up of a star's catastrophic finale. The discovery of SN 2023 ISF was nothing short of a cosmic coup. Kichi Itagaki, an amateur astronomer renowned for his supernova discoveries, first spotted this rapidly brightening spot on the outskirts of Messier 101 using a modest 0.35-meter telescope. Once he reported his find, the global astronomical community mobilized quickly, employing instruments ranging from ground-based telescopes to the orbiting Hubble Space Telescope, ready to capture the unfolding drama of this nascent supernova. In the following weeks, SN 2023 ISS behavior was meticulously documented. The supernova surged from relative obscurity to dazzling peak brightness within a mere five days, only to embark on a slower decline dimming by 0.03 magnitudes daily. Spectral analysis revealed a plethora of bright emission lines, 
evidence of the violent interaction between the expanding supernova shockwave and the gas surrounding the star. This wasn't merely a star ending its life. It was a massive star collapsing under its own weight as its nuclear fuel was exhausted, with its outer layers rebounding off the dense core in a stunning core collapse supernova. What makes SN 2023 ISF particularly fascinating is the dense shell of gas it created, significantly influencing the shockwave's departure from the star's center. Two potential scenarios could explain this dense circumstellar material. Either a strong, steady wind had been shedding material from the star before the explosion, or the star experienced intermittent eruptions, throwing material into space. Either way, it's estimated that the star lost up to a solar mass of material in the last one to two years of its life, indicating that its final moments were anything but peaceful. By studying the details of SN 2023 ISF's explosion, including the progenitor's characteristics and the events leading to its final explosive outcome, astronomers can refine their models of stellar evolution and supernova mechanics. These insights directly inform our understanding of Betelgeuse's current state and its potential path to a supernova, offering a clearer picture of what signs to look for and how to interpret the complex behaviors of massive red giants. So, when will Betelgeuse explode into a supernova? Research from Japan's Tohoku University has suggested that it could already be in the carbon-burning phase of life, a stage that typically precedes a star's end. The lead of this study, Hideyuki Seo, proposes that the star's core could collapse a few decades after the carbon is exhausted. Alternatively, researchers from Hungary's Konkali Observatory believe Betelgeuse is in an earlier helium-burning stage. Despite these differing views, there is consensus that Betelgeuse is likely to be the next supernova in the Milky Way. Although this event might not occur for another 100,000 years, observations of supernovae have provided crucial insights into stellar death. The earliest confirmed record of a supernova dates back to 185 CE, noted as a bright star that took around eight months to fade from the sky. Since then, several significant supernovae have been recorded, including SN 1604, the brightest recorded star ever to appear in our night sky, and SN 1054, which resulted in the creation of the Crab Nebula and was visible in daylight for 23 days. The most recent supernova seen in the Milky Way was SN 1987A in the Large Magellanic Cloud, detected shortly after its light reached Earth. This marked the first supernova identified through neutrino emission and observed across every band of the electromagnetic spectrum. These observations have been pivotal in developing accurate models of supernova behavior and understanding their role in stellar evolution. Imagine if the night sky suddenly burst into a brilliant display of cosmic fireworks, dazzling our gaze with the radiant explosion of a star. Picture the familiar constellation of Orion, adorned with a new, blazing jewel, Betelgeuse, one of its prominent stars, transformed into a stunning supernova. Would this awe-inspiring event affect Earth in any way? Betelgeuse's impending supernova is classified as a core-collapse supernova, a type of explosion that occurs when massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel and can no longer support their gravitational collapse. When Betelgeuse detonates, the energy output from a supernova will primarily manifest as electromagnetic radiation, including visible light. This dazzling cosmic display would last for weeks or even months, providing humanity with a rare opportunity to witness the death of a star in real time. Betelgeuse's supernova would likely dominate the night sky, creating an unforgettable celestial spectacle. In terms of potential effects on Earth, Betelgeuse's distance, approximately 642 light years from our planet, is far enough to prevent any significant harm. The primary radiation, such as gamma rays, would dissipate before reaching us. However, astronomers would closely monitor the event for any unanticipated impacts. The explosion would also provide a treasure trove of scientific data. As a nearby supernova, it would offer an unprecedented opportunity to study the behavior of massive stars, their explosive deaths, and the formation of elements heavier than iron. These elements, created during the supernova explosion, are eventually scattered into space, enriching the interstellar medium and contributing to the formation of new stars, planets, 
and even life itself. Betelgeuse's eventual supernova could also shed light on the broader mysteries of stellar evolution. By comparing it with other supernovae, such as SN 2023 ISF, scientists would gain deeper insights into the final stages of massive stars and refine their models of how these stars influence the galaxies around them. For now, Betelgeuse remains an enigma. While its dramatic dimming events, mass ejections, and pulsations suggest a star in turmoil, predicting the exact moment of its demise remains an immense challenge. Astronomers continue to keep a close watch, using advanced instruments and observatories to track its every move. Whenever it happens, whether in a few decades or thousands of years, the supernova of Betelgeuse will be a momentous occasion for science and humanity alike. It will remind us of the transient nature of stars and the interconnectedness of all matter in the cosmos. The heavy elements forged in its fiery death will eventually find their way into the galaxy, continuing the cycle of creation and destruction that defines our universe.